Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm yours, Jack, and this is another video tutorial on Photoshop, more or less, um, Photoshop Elements 9 and 10. Uh, there was a change, and I noticed that in 9 on the Mac, that there was a change, and you may or may not like it. Um, but I received an email today, so I thought this would be a great time to do this video to explain to you this difference and how to fix it. Uh, because I noticed now it's on Windows as well as on the Mac. So you may want to take care of this and fix this issue. Let me go ahead first of all. We're going to read the email to you that I received today. Uh, it is from Jeff. So Jeff, if you are watching this, which I hope because uh, this video is um, more, more or less uh, directed towards you uh, to help you out. And uh, it's also inspired by you. So i like to give a shout out to Jeff for this email. Hi Jack, hope you don't mind the email. And I never mind emails. You guys know if you have a question or a topic for a show, send that in to me. I, I like to know about it. Uh, it's an Elements 10 question. Um, have you, with well, with the, with your knowledge, he asked, I upgraded from version 8 to version 10, mostly for the ease of having a layer mask, which I told you guys it's great to have that layer mask. Uh, it works perfectly, and we've needed that for a long time. Now I noticed in the new version that you can't float an image in a window. Now, if you don't know what that is, if you didn't use any versions before uh, 9 and 10, floating an image is when it's no longer tabbed, and I'll show you that in just a minute, which I'd really like to do. Clicking on a window on the options box and images, you can't highlight the float or cascade, and there's two other options can't see any reason why this is so just wondering if you knew and again this is from Jeff and uh, Jeff thank you very very much for the question now the reason that you can't click on those it's very simple and let's go ahead and we're gonna go right to elements and I'm going to show you uh, how simple it is and uh, how you could miss it you could very easily miss this I know I did nine and I just never gave it too much thought. I just worked inside the tabs, but now that I found it, I love floating windows too. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, now this is actually on the Mac, but you could do this also on uh, Windows. You're just going to go into Adobe and go into the Preferences, and then go into General. That's where you want to be. So it's under General in your Preferences, and right under Options, it says allow float documents in full edit mode. Now let's uncheck that first because I checked it. It's by default, it's unchecked. And here's what Jeff is talking about. If we go to window and images, well, you can see now that this is all showing. And the reason it's showing is because it was checked. So it's all showing here. Float in window, float all in windows, or consolidate all in tabs. Now let's show you the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn it back on. Go to Preferences and General. And let's turn that back on. This is also very good for when you're doing picture in picture. Um, actually, it stayed on here. Hold on. Let's click at it and click on OK. Now let's look. So this is how yours would look. You can till them, but it only tilled one image. So it didn't make sense. But everything else is grayed out. And that's what Jeff was saying. So by default, it is grayed out. Let's go ahead and go back to Preferences and General and turn it on. So just check that little box. Allow floating documents in full edit mode. Click OK. Now watch what happens. If we go under Images, now we can float all in Windows. Check this out. This is what a floating window means. We can float it. And what's neat is you can actually tab these together. So I can take these two and make two tabs just out of those pictures. And you can even pull it back out so you can float it again. But that's pretty cool. Um, but when you're doing picture in picture, you know, when we're selecting one, uh, like we do a select all. Uh, then we do an edit. And when we copy, then you actually want to minimize this or close this one. Let's just minimize it down out of the way. Then we could do uh, click on this one, do edit and paste. And you can paste that person in there. And then just resize move it uh, and resize it so I understand when you're doing scrapbooking or whatever it makes it a lot easier not to have them in tabs uh, but I've learned to uh, adjust and use tabs and that's okay too 
All right. So let's say we want to go back to tabs. We look at this, we're like, oh, this is cool and we're done, but we still like tabs. Let's go back to window, images. Well, we got to, to uh, check mark this. Let's check that just so we want to leave that there. Now we go to help images or windows, images, and consolidate all the tabs. And you can see now we put them back in the tabs. All right, there's all of our tabs. And we're back to the normal way it was. So once again, Jeff, thank you very much for asking it. It's never a bother for anybody out there to ask me questions. Uh, I love questions about Photoshop Elements. It keeps my mind clicking about how do you do things and why is it the way it is. Um, and a lot of you may or may not know, I don't work for Photoshop. Uh, they don't pay me to do any of these tutorials. And they've never even called me and asked me uh, if they could, you know, donate software to the show every uh Every time a new version comes out, they've never asked that either. But I like doing it because it helps you guys out. So keep the questions coming, and I'll keep producing the shows. So until next time, uh, keep the shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and if you haven't done it yet, check out my website, jackstechcorner.com. It's right here. I just put it up right on the screen for you, jackstechcorner.com. And uh, there's some great training DVDs there uh, that you can learn even more about editing and Photoshop elements. As well as if you don't want to do that, there's a donation bucket uh, to help out the shows and uh, buy the equipment necessary to keep producing these. Well, thank you very much, and uh, keep the questions coming. I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.